This is Wallace and Gromit in the last resort. Telltale Games production. Time long gone. We're going to Blackpool. Ready for a big day out. City of a thousand dreams, I hear. We used to have Blackpool as a channel meme on this channel. In relation to the Harry Hill movie. Gromit, do something. Cobra Coaster. It's just rain. It's just rain, Wallace. Oh. Talk about raining cats and dogs. Our plumbing's in a right pickle. Fetch me my spanner, lad. He's trapped. <laughs> in the dike. You have to save Wallace in this sequence before the water consumes him. There's some loose electrical cable in the basement. Whoops. Oh no. What have you done, Wallace? That was a shock. Best trip the circuit breaker, lad. <laughs> so dangerous. It's electric. Can I go in? Please let me go in. Gromit, have you done, Crackers? You'll get yourself electrocuted. Gromit's gonna die. Do you think, like, um, like animal control services or something like that are gonna come around at some point and just take Gromit away now from Wallace? No it's like, this This is not a responsible pet owner. Can I just use this with the plug? This is it, so Blow yourself to smithereens. Lincoln, Nora. He's just hanging on to the circuit box. Sorry about the unseasonal weather. I'm afraid it means we'll have to put off our little trip to the seaside. Unless we bring the seaside to us. Yeah, let's just keep the electricity going and you know like the flood it downstairs. Lucky the rain's let up for now. I'll be back in a trice with all the necessaries. Sun, sand, and beach umbrella coming up. We get the sun. <laughs> like, Wallace is just gonna, like, get a rope. It's like, I'm taking it. Hmm. I'm sure Miss Flit won't mind if I take just one. He's already pilfering. Surely you're not still thinking of the beach. It's freezing cold and might rain any moment. Ugh, a little wet never dampened the spirits of my biscuit. Grab your wellies and we'll be off. Duncan, I really don't think so. You must admit, it's hard. Quickly. Don't be ridiculous. Swipe the umbrella, Wallace. Oh, hello there, Wallace. Come and meet Duncan McBiscuit. He's Duncan an Biscuit. old friend. And of course, you know my two precious darlings, Fuji Woo and Tinky Wee. Say hello to Mr. Wallace, angels. Why do they... <laughs> Cute little fellows. Why do they look yes. like... You they remember the Knuckles in VR chat Prizes. avatar? Can I steal the umbrella? I say, that's a handsome beach brony. Perhaps you'd like to borrow it. You're most welcome. We won't be needing it as we're not going anywhere. Oh yes we are, lassie. Oh no we aren't, Duncan. You can borrow the brolly once Duncan and I have finished our little discussion. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get something to help me nick the brolly. Must act now before the flood. Gather the townsfolk. Oh, not we this guy again. The bags to the north, south, and east. Still time if we hurry. Look lively now, soldier. No, 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 you can't dump these sandbags here. Just, just, just wait a moment, Major, please. Stop dithering, you dunderhead. The town's being swept under. It's now being swept under, Major. And you're beginning to be a public the, the, This guy needs some care. Oh, yeah. It's a stack of Stilton. Careful, Alice. Oh, was that the earth-shaking roar of thunder? Oh, uh, well, actually... Troll the need for cheese. It doesn't matter when it comes to the complex question of climate. A person should never really rely on his own senses. Only the experts really understand the weather. Oh? That's a shockingly topical stance to take these days. I read an article on Facebook that said otherwise. Quite a light, Mr. Paneer. It's a searchlight. Oh, we need to take I a searchlight, don't no we? shortage of candle power there. Right as the sun, don't you think? Wonderful for bringing in the big spenders. When the weather's fair, that is. I'd be happy to lend you this one, but if the weather warms up tonight, I'll need it to advertise my super sore away sizzling summer sale. Do I need to get the weather forecast or something for him? Looking for something to read? Take your pick. I'll put it on your slate. Uh, no sun in sight, more gloom doom ahead. Doom 
gloomy weather ahead, I'm afraid. Oh? Oh, no. After all, that my sizzling summer sail is ruined. I go on holiday, but the weather's a washout. This light'll make a smashing sun. Into the pocket dimension, the bag of holding. Take all you want, Wallace. Inferno chief. I need the entire I'm truck. Commanding officer here. You <laughs> bring it round to my home. Don't question my projects. Why don't we ask Wallace here who's in command? This young Pongo. I still feel like Pongo is a slur for something, and it kind of makes me worried. I, did we look it up before? Did we look up what it means? I, I'm kind of worried every time this old man speaks. You just have to worry, you know? You know how, like, granddad sometimes when you're having, like, you're all having dinner, you're all having family dinner, and it's like, granddad, no, you can't say that. Basically his character, you gotta keep an eye on him. Is, is this just gonna, this is just gonna go on forever. Two fine flavors that work well <laughs> Just read the poster. We're talking about who's in charge, not flavors. Just a moment. Are you saying that instead of bickering over who's in charge, we should be working together as a team? Like Somehow this might be the, sol the solution. Oh, once again, shout out to the marching band that's following Wallace this entire time. This is having a good day. Now then, soldier, all I need is your requisition form. Requisition Oh, no. <laughs> that's right. Got to play by the book. Can't let the spies sabotage operations, can we? Who in this small oh, town? Surely. Wallace is like sabotaging the town more than anyone else. <laughs> Wallace, what's good? He's okay. He's, ha he's having a little trouble. <laughs> Get the cheese so Wallace's stomach makes thunder? I don't think that's gonna work. Oh. Thunder, I hear? Uh, Wait, no, that uh, might actually be it. And that reminds me. I just sent the truck out with your delivery. When you return home, you'll find it waiting patiently on your door. Perfect. It's a lot of cheese. Oh, ho, ho. a special order for 62 West Wallaby Street. Stilton. One of my favorites. This is where all their finances go. Maybe I can hear thundering. Just put your backpacks for a moment, will you? Okay, so I gotta look at the cheese. <laughs> here we go, Wallace. Man of many talents. I'm not going to stay out here with you waiting to be struck by lightning. I'm going to seek shelter. And if you've any sense at all, Duncan McBiscuit, you'll do the same. Good day. What? He's very pleased with himself. There you go. I'll just borrow this. Just Put it in the bag of home. For our indoor beach experience. Okay, we just need... Oh, we can use this for the sandbags, of course. Give that here. Good heavens. Special orders delivered to 62 West Wallaby Street. You've done the service proud, soldier. Now, stand clear. No time for... Oh, once again, we are I taking advantage of this poor Street. elderly man who's losing his mind. Sir. But Wallace is delighted with himself. Time to relax. She did it up quite beach, nicely. <laughs> we deserve a holiday. Just a minute. Such a lovely beach. It's a shame to keep it to ourselves when we could. <laughs> you really went all out. Share it with paying customers. Welcome to New Blackpool. This man's ruining my blinking holiday. Oh. Ah, take my book and sand and in your home. sandwich. I was only teasing. Just ask that great big pudding Shut there. Up. I ain't no pudding yet. These Tartan dogs are disturbing time. the peace. Bylaws state that all livestock must be. This is not going well. <laughs> he's never going to financially recover from this. It's probably the structural foundation damage that he's not going to recover from. Like this much water in the home is going to have heavy consequences. I am about to reenact one of the greatest desert battles of history, the Siege of Aqaba. Not many know the tale. It was late 1914, or was it 1960? It was an even year of that, I'm sure. On the one side oh, was Jesus. a single British soldier, T.E. Lawrence, better known to you civvies as Sir Lawrence of Olivier. I googled it as 1917. There's gonna be a grandkid that comes in a moment. It's like, Grandpa, you weren't in the war. We talked about this. <laughs> what do you think our Lawrence did? He took tea. <laughs> anyway, Lawrence was about to dunk his digestive when suddenly... Oh. Blast and bother. 
This isn't right. Not quite historically accurate, I'm afraid. I'll have to start again. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to get him some objects so we can tell his wartime story. My god, he's made a Lego brick. Tower of groceries where the heroic young shopkeeper sells top quality produce. Impressive architecture, don't you think? He's living a power oh, fantasy here with the sand castle. Yes, that's the enchanted tower where the beautiful princess sleeps, dreaming of a successful marriage to a financially secure prince. Prince also runs the grocery oh, store. Oh no. Uh, oh, that's mean. Me. <laughs> what a jerk. Promise, we've got to do something, lad. Fetch me my pistol. <laughs> oh no. Wallace. I'd like a word with you, if you please. This, this establishment is not, does not have a license. I'm issuing a formal caution for the disruption of lawful quietude. It's the third I've had to write today. This is so British, I'm getting stressed. Aye, the first two got eaten. <laughs> Give this one to Miss Flit and tell her to remove her animals or I'll be forced to shut the place down. I, I had to stop watching the stream, uh, you know. It's just too much of Northern England. Too much going on. What a mess I am! But it's me own fault for letting that mangy McBiscuit get under me skin. Why should I care what he says? As me mum taught me, sticks and stones will break your bones, but silly names can never hurt you. Actually, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will leave psychological scarring that will result in years of therapy ahead of you. To shape for a beach holiday. That's a stinky cheese. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. I'd go home <laughs> with Mr. Gabbley, but there's no point. Everything you we'll say upsets her. From him indoors, will I? Just stab her already. Just end it, Wallace. Take the knife. For tea. There's nothing like a cup of tea. Aye, that's right. A strong cuppa cures most ills. Tea's working. You know what? Winnie Gabbley's had enough of feeling sorry for herself. We did it. So you did it, Wallace. In there, you big fuck! Shut your trap, you tart and tear away, or I'll box your ears! Oh. Hmm, I do like a good book. No need for a refund, then. Oh, no. I'm as happy as Larry. Take the knife, Wallace. Oh. Yeah, there, there's nothing else to say. Consider fruit. Consider daisy. Consider knife. Where's the crack, Gromit? Gromit, me old chum. Pass us a piece of the devil's lettuce, will you, old pal? I can see it. I can see it. But you'd have to phrase it like that. That's the thing. Very particular vocabulary. The man's on something. You can't enjoy cheese that much. Would you like these sunglasses? Oh, wonderful, Mr. Wallace. Very stylish. I'll use these for my new Luke. It's going to be Luke. such fun. I have the glasses. I just need the scarf. So I, I need something I can use as a scarf. Constable Dibbins has requested... Constable Dibbins is mistaken. Fuji Woo and Tiki Wee would never misbehave. They did seem a touch rambunctious. Constable, if I ever see my doggies behaving badly, I shall reprimand them myself, believe me. But just look at them. They're as sweet and innocent as pink icing sugar. What? 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 Why don't you find some other tiny, defenseless creatures to harass and leave my babies alone? Problem solved? Babies? Hooligans more like. He's gonna kill him. You can pick a destination. Oh, I can steal that for the scarf, I think. This needs ironing, it does. Grease will make a fantastic scarf. Ta -da! What do you think, Wallace? Am I not mysterious? Uh, quite mysterious. This is very patriotic. Yes. <gasps> or Greek heritage. Oh. That's all it is. Where's Felicity? Where did Miss Flit go? A anyway, here's the formal complaint. <laughs> oh, gee, whoa! Take it away! How could you behave like this? Mommy is 
very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. Everything appears to be quite satisfactory, peaceful, and in order. Thank you, Wallace. I just don't understand why I paid four hundred dollars for just an afternoon here. I think I know what I need to do. Just like this. It's really me. Oh my god, I just had a horrible thought. We take the soldier, we put it in the sandcastle, and then when he steps on it, instead of breaking his sandcastle, ha ha ha, a nail has gone through his foot. My feet feel weird now. <laughs> this is awful. Like, Wallace, this is so mean. You're actually gonna really injure someone with this. A knight to defend the castle, eh? Why not? It couldn't hurt. Strongly disagree. Like Strongly disagree. Oh no. Uh, oh. oh my boot, my poor tender boot. He's dead now. Oh, oh, oh. It was censored. Oh, 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 oh. Well then, should be able to work in peace now, I reckon. Oh well. He's gonna need a tetanus good. shot after that. No one cared that Duncan was hurt. <laughs> ha ha. Oh, uh, Wallace, well, you're weirding me out when you slide. West Wallaby Street Waterworld, the only holiday destination with its own all-weather seaside in the cellar basement uh, beach few words to say myself. Raise your glasses. This Raise isn't about your Duncan. Hey, who turned out that? Ah, what's all this? Right there. Is there gonna be a murder? <laughs> Oh, the audio is struggling. <laughs> Can't believe he's dead. He's been buried. Help me! Help me, somebody! Well, not much for us to do here. I was this close to take my last grade. You found me just a time. I've located the victim. Mr. McBiscuit has sustained a nasty knock to the noggin and don't remember now about it. Happily, he will recover. However, aggravated thumping is a serious offence, and I've no choice but to treat every one of you as suspects. Oh, it really is just a murder mystery. <laughs> now, what's that contraption? My latest prototype, Constable. The Deductomatic Mystery Solver. Deductomatic? Is that what's been taking money out of my savings account? Oh, Taxpayer no, funded. Who done it? Who done it? Oh, that can't be right. This is probably one of the dogs. It was Poojie Woo and Tinky Wee. <laughs> Two wee pups laying junk and low. That's daft, that is. I mean, we, Silly we do have a penguin that's an antagonist in this universe. It's not that far fetched, right? How absurd. The penguin's one of the greatest villains, like, just ever. Requires three things. First, the motive. Why did the suspect thump Duncan McBiscuit? Second, the weapon. What was he thumped with? Third, a witness. Who can Gotta play Cluedo now. Corroborate it. Uh, back up your accusation. Motive. I've solved the motive. Excellent. Tell us why uh, uh, Wadgy Podge and Tinky Pink thumped Duncan McBiscuit. With it, man. <laughs> oh, never mind then. Um, just a moment. Never mind. <laughs> Machine's not cooperating. Okay, let's let's just explore the house a little bit this time. You think it would be the police officer's job to investigate this? Ah, Grunt. You must know what the debonair dog likes. Why don't you help me pick an outfit for my precious darlings? Save me from this face, Wallace. Okay, we get the we get the top hat. The heart shades. Sweet. We got a dapper bow tie. Hello. You found Mr. Sneaky. You clever things. 
I was afraid he'd never turn up. A hat is missing, isn't it? Now we're really ready for some fun, aren't I'll explore we? more. And then the cracker press. Provisions, eh? Good military we gotta get this guy out of our house. He, we gotta stop him him around. Civilian constable will keep us he needs up. care. Best start rationing now before panic sets in and we have to eat our pack animals or each other. Wait, <laughs> what? We might have to cannibalize each other at Wallaby Waterworld. Duncan McBeskin does a take guff from yapping wee dugs. So, I grabbed that bone toy of theirs and took it away. They didn't like it one bit. Okay, oh, it's pretty no. clear. I kept the toy and shook the wee doggies doing the slide. They didn't like that You're one an bit asshole. <laughs> I was having a grand time. I wanted a wee picky to remember by, so I went down to that photo thingamajig just then. Like an answer to my prayers, the gong sounded for supper. I came to table, and there I found heaven, my lovely lass, Felicity. I remember the fine, sweet smell of her, like... <laughs> it just starts sniffing. Like, um, oh, blast it all, my nose is a blank. Felicity, I call. Give it you time, smell though. wonderful You're tonight. Better. Oh, something's going on up here. Probably should have investigated this sooner. I'm sure they're innocent. Probably just misunderstood. Oh, I mean that's that's one way to get outside. Sure. Let's jump out the window. Give us those. Cromit dies. That's it. The sweet scent of felicity. How could I forget? That's the smell I remember, I remember on her. I remember everything I now. sniffed her. I cured. You've cured my ham knees. Oh, I never saw who, but I saw what. The supper gong mallet. That's what hit me. The supper gong mallet? You sure, Chuck? Oh, we've got that sure. picked out. Oh, I. Look. Look what it did to me. Oh, Jesus. What kind of person would do that? They've come they to finish the job. You go back to sleep yeah, they're, they're, they're hiding the evidence now, so we gotta go get that back. Oh, no, there might be something sinister about the dogs. That's an extra fluffy batch. No, I'm Mr. Paneer. Trade up. Just this once. Oh, crikey, it's heavy. Must be family size floss. Oh, they're too crafty. What if I what if I put this in there? You mustn't abuse the candy floss maker. It's the only one we've got. But what if I did? Here's something different. Do you sense something, boy? Maybe I can get him to put down the candy mm. floss. Put that candy floss down while I'm interviewing you, if you please. Mm. We just swipe that. Okay, we got the weapon. That's a good choice. But one of my sailor hats is missing. Hoochie Woo and Tinky Wee like to wear matching outfits. Sailor hat is at the scene of the crime. Don't fuss, sweeties. You can go back upstairs in a minute. Quickly, grab it. Now, I need you to sabotage the bed. Again, I still have no idea how this helps us. But the spring is in position. What happens if I push it now? Oh, the... They're not even standing on it. The knife, grab it, the knife. Can I take the cutout? Oh, okay, that's what I was supposed to do. Oh, and okay, and the mystery of the spring has been solved, right. Let's just do it one more time. Uh, you know what they say? Six times the charm. <laughs> Gromit's doing his best. See you later, friends. And if you don't believe me, I invite you to inspect the evidence. Oh, here's the hat. Are you having a laugh? Enough questions. We're wasting time. The spies could be signaling their ship. If they give away our position, we're done for. <sighs> All right, yes, fine. So tell me what these so-called spies of yours looks like. Oh, that's the detail for how we dress them up, is it? 
was the. Uh, <laughs> means well, but he's a couple of bricks short of the food. You have seen these guys in SpongeBob. Oh, oh, you found it. Good boy. Now, Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee can play sailor again. Okay, uh, I need to dress them up. Good show. Tell us who witnessed um, uh, uh, Tinky Woo and Poochie Wee assaulting Mr. McBiscuit. My witness is Major Crumb. Quite right. I swarm sailors from the South Seas. Spies, spies from abroad. No, this again. Granddad, no. You gotta calm down. Off. Did your spies look like them too? Good heavens. Yes, they're all right. <laughs> I'd recognize them anywhere. Put those spies in irons. Don't be silly. They're puppies. Dogs of war, boy. Lock them up. Four life sentences. Do I just give this to Wallace? The weapon is this mallet. Eee, you bang on the money this time, Wallace. I remember now. That's what it Duncan always did. He said so himself, and he's got the dead end as Wallace. To prove it. Cannot continue on Wallaby that. way. And the motive is. My God. The motive is this chew toy. Really? The pups are very attached to that toy. They wanted more jam, my experience. God. Duncan stole the toy from them doggies. Told me so himself. He never did. Oh, he did. If Mr. McBiscuit did indeed take their favorite toy, that could well be a motive for thumping. But why would Duncan want to take Mr. Squeaky? The very idea. He's an asshole, Miss Flesh. Duncan McBiscuit was thumped by a mallet because of a stolen chew toy. The crime being witnessed by Major Crumb. The perpetrators of this evil deed were none other than the canine criminals, Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee. In a weird way, this episode of Wallace and Gromit was the precursor to that one awful YouTuber episode in Minecraft Story Mode. The final boss. The drain must have come unplugged. That's handy. Oh. Poop decks poop. <laughs> YouTube for myself, lad. Okay, Wallace. We're doing what we can. <laughs> Explode the dogs. No. Above. They followed their toy down the I, I think we just killed them. Well, I'll give them one thing. They're <laughs> I think they're gone end. now. Don't do it, lad. You'll blow yourself to smithereens. Wait, what are we trying to do? <laughs> gotcha. I guess that works. I do hope everyone's had an unforgettable holiday. And that you'll consider visiting West Wallaby Street Waterworld again next year. Also, Miss Flit, your dogs are dead. Romit, where are you, lad? We've got quite a clean-up job in front of us. No time for dawdling. Romit, Romit. Romit finally gets his time off. He desperately needs it. Reverse Shawshank escape. Yo, this episode of Wallace and Gromit pretty much was a metaphor for the Shawshank Redemption. Oh! Save the dogs, help a whelp. Monty Muzzle's fundraise affair. To be continued? Wallace and Gromit will return. In another day in the United Kingdom, I don't know. <laughs>